So welcome back. We are going to do the last lab of this uh, training where we are going to execute all the steps, the steps we executed in the previous lectures. We're going to do it in one package. I'll, I'll show you what it means. So before we go to that, what I want you to do is uh, go to your virtual box, power off your big data, and then right click. First, you'll need to pause, which I've already done. Once you've done the pause, then you can click on remove. And once you come to remove, you do delete all files. Click on delete all files. I've already done that. So once that is done, once all the files are deleted, then you would see no image here. So this should be blank for you once that is deleted. So the next step is you will go file, import appliance. You would go to the appliance which we had in the past. In my case, I had the download, big data this. I would select that and click next and then import. I have already done that. So I have completed this step already. So what I want you to do is pause the video now and go through this process because this process is going to take you an hour or so. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to start with a clean slate. We don't want any previous executions there. So we want to make sure that this package works, that the data which is being populated is from this package, not the previous lab we've done. So that's the idea here. So pause the video and once you're done with this importing, uh, you can start the video again. So hopefully you finished this step. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the settings page uh, for the system. In my case, I'm going to do close to 10, 11 gig because I have the resources. If you don't have, you don't need to do. You go with the minimum. So you can follow the chapter eight where we are importing the, the virtual machine in the virtual box. So you can look at that chapter and complete this process, the whole import process. So once that is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it. You can do right click or you can just click here and this should start our machine. So it started. It's running. Uh, we'll give it a few seconds. As we know, it takes time for it to boot up. So it's up. I'm going to log in with the password welcome one. And from previous lessons, if you remember, we started the services. So I'm going to start all the services. I'm also going to start Oracle because we are going to execute multiple steps and which would require all the services to be up. I'm going to do Kafka. I'm going to do NoSQL. And Yarn. So once I'm done, I'm going to click that. This is going to start the services. So while it's doing that, we are going to start the Golden Gate process. If you remember from our previous training, we opened a terminal window. We went to the Golden Gate directory and we enabled the Golden Gate. So let's do that. You're going to open the terminal window. I'm going to copy this directory path, paste it here. I'm in the Golden Gate directory. Now I am going to execute the command which starts the Golden Gate process. So for that, I'm going to copy again. Right click, paste, and this should start the processes we need. 
Next thing is, while it's doing that, we are going to start the Oracle Data Integrator. Here we don't have any ODI installation, so we say no. We connect the repository. We go with the default credentials. So we come to the designer. So this is the package which we are going to run. So first, what the package does, copies files to the Hadoop file system. The second step is we bulk load using scoop. Then we merge the movies in the hive. We are going to truncate the movie rating so we can populate it with the latest rating. Here we are going to calculate the ratings and populate that movie rating table. Then we are going to load uh, data into Oracle database using the Oracle loader for Hadoop. Then finally, we are going to calculate the sales by the region. We are going to truncate the session stats. So we're going to sessionize from the, the data we have. And once we truncate it, then we can populate that sessionized data. And in the final step, it cleans up uh, temporary files which were created by this package in order to complete this process. Now, while we do that, there are a few things I want you to look at. Hive Movie, Movie Updates, right-click View of Data. So as you see, there are no data currently available for Movie Updates. So as you see, the table is blank, movie updates. So we're going to now start the package. So let's do this. We're going to click on the big data, which we've already done. We see the process, what it's going to do. We are going to execute this as a single package. So when you have a package like this, you could automate this process. Maybe you could schedule it to run at a certain time. And this could be kind of your batch process. So this way, you can automate your process. Session has started. Uh, keep in mind, it takes a few minutes. So have patience. Click OK. We're going to go to operations. We're going to look at all executions. So it started. The copy is finished as it clicks. The next is load movies using scoop. We're going to click on this, which is going to refresh. OK, so load movie scoop has been completed So uh, using scoop. So let's see if we can look at the data. There it is. So the data has been loaded. Let's go back to the operation again. The step which is completed is scoop. The next step is merge movies, hive. OK, that is completed. Let's look at the merge movies, hive. And the data has been populated for the movies. Let's go to the operation. The truncate of movie rating is done. So no data. Now if we were to go to the operation, the current step is 
which is going to populate It's calculating the rate rating, so hopefully this will be populated once it's completed. It's still working. Okay, let's see if we can do. Okay, it's populated. And it's got 1,323 rows. The next step is Calculate ratings using JSON flatten file. Okay, that is done. Flat file. And before it was 23, this were the four rows which were added with the JSON flatten calc ratings. Now the step is we are going to load Oracle data into the Oracle for Hadoop database. Okay, so the Oracle load has completed. Let's look at it. There you see, it's all loaded. Now it's going to truncate the session stats. So it's truncated. Now it's going to load the sessionized data after it trun truncates. Just keep in mind this step from, it took around close to 19 minutes for it to complete loading Oracle data for Hadoop. So keep patience. Okay, so it looks like everything is done. Temporary files clean up. The sessionized data should be here. There it is. It's populated. So the whole package was completed successfully. So this shows how you can automate all your processes and you can run them as a bad jobs and schedule them periodically to update your ratings and all your sales in that country, you can populate that and those reports can be generated. So with this, we end this training. I'm going to add more documentation to my website. So do visit that. I have put the link in uh, the resource sections. So good luck.